Welcome back everyone, it's Nick in the McLaren Garage. You've seen the practice, or you might have done, and now is qualifying for Brazil, which is round 18. Just rounds 18 and 19 left now, and Weber leads the championship on 223 points. I'm currently in fourth, 16 points behind. So, as I said in practice, if Weber outscores me by more than 10 points, I can't win the championship in this race. Uh, the real-life race, the pole position was got by Hulkenberg in the real 2010 season. The race was won by Vettel for Red Bull, second That's Weber for Red Bull and third Alonso. So I've made a few alterations for um, qualifying, but not too many. Uh, in practice, I was about a second off the pace. So let's see if I can gain a bit more. But um, this track, you could divide into two halves. It's got a very quick um, number of straights, and then the other half is loads of tight corners. So it makes it tricky to balance the car between downforce and less downforce, if you know what I mean. Right, there's nothing either side of me. So we'll do an installation lap, but I don't want to do too many laps here because my setup was taking a lot out the tyres. I'm now on the options, which should go a bit quicker than the primes, but they will wear out a lot. So as soon as I've done my lap, hopefully the first one after this installation lap, then I want to come back in again. But, you know, in uh, practice I did a 1 minute 13, almost dead. Uh, 1 minute 12 was the quickest, so I think pole position is going to dip into the late 111s. I want to dip into the 12s, hopefully come in the top 8 at least. And the first few laps are going to be vital after this. So I can't afford to make too many mistakes here. There we go. A bit tight. So gain a lot of speed around here, hopefully don't crash off. No one set a time yet, normally it would show on the top left under the positions, so I might be the first person to set a time. Possibly. I don't want anyone in front of me, there is someone in front of me. Are they far enough away that won't cause a problem? Should be, if they're on a quick lap, if they're on a slow lap, I might catch them, which could affect me. Someone also coming out the pits, but I think we're going to clear those with plenty of time to spare. Right, this is a tricky one. They're all tricky, really. That's all right, car holding quite well, that was good. Good pace around there. Okay. So I think a 1 minute 11.8 or 11.9 is probably going to be pole. Don't think I'm quick enough to get those. I don't think so, anyway. Concentrate around here. Now this corner's a bit tricky. You can floor it a bit earlier than you think. Something to do with the camera of the corner, I'd imagine. Now that. Hamilton's gone round quickest. Quicker on the split anyway, Quick, quicker than me. Is that going to turn it? Yeah, one minute. Oh, I can't see that properly. Right, now, I've done all the hard work. Let's just keep flooring this. Hopefully this is a decent lap and we'll come straight in. Come on, just dip into the one minute twelves at least. Not, it's going to be oh, it's gonna be good. Great, one minute twelve point two. That's brilliant. That's brilliant. I don't think that's going to be good enough for pole, but it's going to be up there. We'll keep going around in case this lap is quicker. If it isn't, I'll come straight in again, but just trying to preserve the tyres. I'm really pleased with that lap. There's eight temps quicker than I did in practice. Tyres working really well here. This setup's quite good. Although I might want a bit of extra downforce on the front of the car. Oh, who's that in front? Yeah, Bruno Senna again, is it? I have problems with him in practice. Yeah, so if you catch someone up in the twisty circuit that isn't really racing, that's your whole lap ruined. I'm not going to be able to get past him. Someone's spun. <laughs> a Renault the other side. Yeah, that's it. Thanks, Bruno. Oh, God. I just... Yeah. Just fancy swearing. Why is he driving around so slow? Well, I'm straight in again. 1.2 seconds slower now. I mean, that is a slow car normally, but he's just pooling around. That needs to be investigated. Right, so 1 minute 12.2. I'm not going to do any more laps. I'm not going to take anything more out of the tyres. Because in all likelihood, I'll have to start the race on these tyres. My tyres seem to wear out quicker than all my opponents, which has caused trouble on some other tracks. There we go. So it's going to be a very brief qualifying session here. Will this be pole position? My inkling is no. That man's moustache is growing quite quickly on the right there. Or is it just the shadowy? Maybe. Quicker than that bloke's hair, anyway. 1 minute 12.2. Surely that's got to be top four. 
Yeah, see, 92%, that's, I only did one racing lap, that's 8% out of the tyres. Well, three laps, really, insulation and an in-lap. So I'm going to be in the 80, 112.2. Yeah, Hampton's really close there, 112.2 as well. Oh, Hampton's gone round quicker. He's gone round, round another four temps quicker with about 14 minutes left to go. Nice job. Right, I'm in the front row. Massa's third, Vettel's fourth, Weber fifth, then Rosberg and Alonso. Can anyone go round quicker? I'd love a front row starting grid place because I'd favour myself to overtake Hamilton at the start. It's all a bit experimentation, this. I'm, I'm learning a bit more about setting up the car as the blundering season goes on. If I was to do it again, I'd probably set up the cars a bit different in the earlier races where I lost a lot of ground. Right, I don't think I can do too much here. If it goes to the race, the race next, I might set a bit more downforce on the front end of the car, but I'm undecided about that. Maybe change the ballast, get the car to turn in a bit easier. Sometimes it's harder to accelerate or slower to accelerate out the corners when you do that, so you do have to balance it out a little bit. Yeah, nice percent. See, if I went out again, that would go down to 80-odd percent, and starting the race on tyres that worn would be problematic. I think there's going to be about 20 or 21 laps in the real race. Uh, so the first pit stop will probably be lap 6 or maybe lap 7. Uh, the last lap could be tricky if I go out again and are uh, struggling for grip. And around that tight bit of the course, I don't want to be pooling around there because I'll be a sitting duck. Come on, please stay second. Vettel's gone quicker. Ma oh dear, I'm dropping a bit. Sixth. Both Ferraris have gone past me. Will I have to go out again? So I'm half a second. Rosberg and Schumacher are about a few temps away from me, but they might be able to go around a bit quicker. What would you do? Sao Paulo, this is. Sixth place. I don't want to drop back too far than that. Yeah, I mean, from the starting grid, there's a... It's only a very short run up and then two tight corners might be able to get a few people under braking or someone might be able to get me. It's quite easy to get snagged round round those. If you've seen any um, real Formula 1 races in Intergargos, that first corners, it's uh, problematic. Normally if you're a bit further down the field, people taking risks and I'll, I'll probably have to take a risk there because I'm behind Hamilton, Vettel and Webber and they're all ahead of me in the championship. Vettel on 209, he's 14 points behind the leader Weber. Hamilton is tucked into second place, 217, he's on six points behind. So I need to outscore all three of them, and from where I'm starting, it's going to be tricky. Sixth place. Could have been worse, but I'll settle with it. That's the end of the session. Sixth. Good job. 112.2. In yeah, six tenths behind the leader, so closer. Weber in pole position, that's telling. Well, I hope you like watching the practice if you did, and I hope you like watching the qualifying session. Really heating up now, just two uh, events to go. The race will go up tomorrow. Uh, wish me luck. Hope to see you there, cheering me on. And so then, take good care of yourself, and a very warm goodbye. Goodbye.